Hello, hello, Tammy Cinematics Games. I'm trying to take my brain off of things, so I figured let's film an episode, because why not? And it will distract my brain, and editing it will take up some time. So there we go. I may not edit it, but so much. We'll see if I, you know, do too many screw ups. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Or if I ramble on for too long and I have to like cut it and like smush it together because it's like, all right, I went off on a really long tangent there. Let's cut that. Um, but anyway, hello. Um, see, it's Thursday. I had to log off of work early because my brain shut down. <laughs> I'll go, to, uh, I'll kind of sort of go into it a little bit um, in a bit. But in the meantime, you guys want to see some knitting? It's been a while. Um, I haven't made much progress on anything because I keep getting distracted and doing other things. So, yes. Sorry, I walked from the mailbox and it's humid as crap outside because it was supposed to rain today and has not rained yet. And it's just hot and gross. Um, so I'm like thirsty <laughs> and I probably should have grabbed water, but I grabbed mango lemonade instead. Oh, and these, these are some of my favorite cups. Um, because they're like knockoffs, because they don't have the licensing to do like the real movies, like the, uh, you know, the classic, you know, The Mummy, Frankenstein, uh, Creatures from Black Lagoon. Like they didn't have the licensing. So this is just called Mummy, but you know what they're referencing. And I have another one that's like Dracula, <laughs> but not Dracula, you know, I don't know. It was fun. It came with a matching popcorn bowl. And one of them is cracked and I don't care. I refuse to throw it away because it's cute. I don't think it's this one. <laughs> Me drinking out of it all my lemonade is just like, eh. I don't think this one's broken. No, I think the Dracula one's broken because that's the one I use all the time. Anywho, tangents. <laughs> Did I intro? Uh, uh, intro. I'm Tammy, uh, cinematic skeins. I dye yarn. I knit things. I crochet things. I cross stitch sometimes, never finish anything. I'm easily distracted. I forget what I'm talking about and I go off on rants. Tangents. Tangents. Last episode. Was it an episode? Oh, did I post it on here? I didn't post it here. <laughs> I think I deleted it. I went off on like a huge rant about work and then I cut it to like a short and I posted it on Instagram. <laughs> it was a rant y'all. It was a rant. I filmed it like three times because I was drinking a little bit. Um, <laughs> and then I realized I'd probably get fired if I posted it. So yeah, I turned it into a short and put it on Instagram and now it's gone. I think. Yeah, I think it's gone. Anyway, I'm over it. Venting helps me get things out. Once I vent, my brain suddenly lets things go. Like I was hovering on that, like hovering. Is that the word? That's not the word. My brain was stuck on it for like four days. And then I vented and it just drifted away. And it's like, oh, okay, I'm not bothered. I'm still bothered, but I'm not like bothered. You know what I mean? Anyway work <sighs> yeah anywho um let's let's look at stuff yes yes let's do that knitting okay I told you guys last time I hadn't worked on my sweater and I just started one sleeve I'm still still there still there it's not a I mean it's like 80 something degrees right now I'm not gonna wear a sweater anytime soon so I'm not that worried about it but um my woodland slash Alaska sweater that's all the sleeve I've gotten done. Just this, just this, just the one, whatever. It's whatever. I just, I, I just wanted to do the color work. <laughs> so that's that. Then my super swirl shawl. I was trying to do a color a week and I started the third color this week and then I put it down and haven't touched it since. So I will not finish this color this week, but it's fine. Two months, y'all, two months. Um, yeah, cause I have the, I have the knit along going into July 1st. So it's fine. <laughs> I started the third color and put it down. Uh, but this is the progress. I'm trying to remember what all I showed on Instagram and what all I showed on YouTube. <sighs> One day I'll get better. So not bad, not bad. So I got this bit, this is the, what's it called? Seed stitch, yeah. 
got the seed stitch bit done for the first part and then the second one which kind of sucked because you know flat knitting purling uh is just stocking it and then I think the third one I just finished the garter part so I think the third one goes back to the seed stitch but I haven't touched it because I've been working on that caracol yarn thing because I can't seem to put it down because <sighs> I like it a lot and I just bought more of the caracol yarn because I I think I want to make a sweater. All right, so you guys, you guys. Okay, do I have it in here? Or did I put it away? I do. Okay, you guys. Caracol yarn, okay? It is... Sing well, it's not on here. It's a single ply. Well, in my brain, it's a single ply yarn with a binding thread wrapped around it, if that makes sense. So, I mean, I've shown it a couple times, but see, it's single ply and then you got the little binding thread wrapped around it. So I don't think that counts as a second ply. I think that's just thread wrapped around a single ply. So I still consider this a single ply yarn. Here's my question. I wanna make a cardigan or a pullover. I was thinking about making a Felix with this yarn, but I know like single ply garments, they don't hold up well, right? Is that the, is that the thing? They don't hold up well because they don't have the strength and so they pill a lot and stuff. Like, I don't want that. Um, but I really want to make a sweater out of this because I love it. And don't tell me, don't tell me, okay, to buy the same, because, you know, the colorway is available on some of Malabrigo's other bases. I have those. They're, they don't look like this. <laughs> they don't. They're... Bleh, can't talk they're lighter and I know part of it is you know the black thread wrapped around it which you know leads some darkness to it but even like Benny has been annoying me all week there are some bunnies that keep visiting the backyard and um Benny likes to bark at them and it's really annoying anyway I'm gonna ignore the dogs <sighs> Anyway, so, all right, so this colorway I have on fingering and I think I might have it, do I have it on Arroyo? I think is there a sport, DK sport? It's not this dark. This is lovely and I really want to make a sweater out of it. So if you guys have ever made sweaters with single ply, is it just don't do it Tammy or is it is there a trick to it like that's why I was thinking maybe a cardigan because then I wouldn't mess with it so much like I wouldn't be pulling it on over my head and all this stuff and I would just you know wear it around the house and stuff all nice and cozy like I don't know I really like this colorway I could also potentially do a little copycat version of it died for myself because I wouldn't feel comfortable selling it because I'd be trying to mimic this I could do that with that said I've ordered like 10 more skins in this but reason being <laughs> let's get to the knitting is because I was going to I started off uh no pattern well I found a pattern and then I decided not to use it and it just kind of wing it <laughs> and um I was going to make myself a very long, like parallelogram, rectangular, you know, wrap, as it were. And then I was going to make it really big so it would be like, you know, you can't see my bottom hand. Um, so it could go from my neck to my bum. So like a big wrap. And that way, with that size, it would like also be like a lap blanket. So I wanted it big. So here we go. <laughs> Cause I kept forgetting to bring it in here when I was filming to show. This is where I'm at so far. I can't put it down y'all. So squishy and delightful. Look at, look at, isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? And you can tell the first skein I started with had a lot of red in it or burgundy. And then the next skein I started with had a lot of navy in it. So, eh. It's fine. I don't care. I don't care. So 
This is one skein. This is the second skein. And then I just started, you can tell, I just started the third skein here. Like right, hold on. Right here, I can't hold it. <laughs> All right, so here, this is the line of, was it delineation? Whatever that word is. Hold on. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's the third skein. You see it where it's more red than the blue. Okay, so I just started the third skein and I'm already thinking I might frog back. Because <laughs> what I did was I did increases on both sides for the whole triangle part. And then I only did, then I switched to doing an increase on one side and a decrease on the other side. So it would start to form the parallelogram. But now I'm thinking, especially since I ordered more and it's, I love it so much. Maybe I should just make it a corner to corner blanket and keep going. So I would take out the part where I switched over to doing a parallelogram, which is this bit. So yeah, you can see like where I switched. So I would undo this second skein and then go back to doing the increases and just make a giant blanket. But I can't make up my mind. <laughs> I also considered turning it into like a super long poncho. Dude, I love it. I just, I love it. Let me show you guys the texture of it. And I think the texture of it is what makes me want to make it a sweater because it reminds me of river stones. If you've ever been, I've never been there, but I've seen pictures of, uh, was it Glacier or National Park where the water's like super clear and the stones are all colorful. That's what this reminds me of. But look at it. Look at that texture. It's so fun. It's so fun. And with more redder bits. You guys, it's super fun. And my progress keeper is charmed and dangerous. But even the reverse, like the, uh, the pearl side, look at that. It's like pebbles. I love it so much. I love it so much. I wanna make a sweater. Y'all have to tell me if it's a bad idea or not. Like. I'm not that knitting savvy to know. Like I know what I've read that, you know, single ply isn't best, like it's best used for shawls and not garments or socks. But you guys, I love it so much. What a like a cute, like, just like a, like a little pullover, like, wait, wait, hold on. And then I would make it sleeves like that. Look, isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? It's so cute, right? <sighs> I want to make it a sweater or should I attempt to copycat it on like normal yarn base but then I won't have this fun texture you know mm. Mm. I love it so much so yeah this is what I've been working on <laughs> and I have a pair of socks where I'm like this far away from like knitting the toe and I've just been like I'm gonna work on this <laughs> anyway and you would think I wouldn't work on it because it makes my wrist hurt a little bit, which I'm not wearing my brace right now because I got hot and took it off. But um, yeah, I'm going back to the doctor tomorrow to have my wrist looked at again because it's not any better. It's actually slightly worse. And I haven't been knitting at, like I knit every day because you know, knit or crochet every day in May for uh, West Seventh Wool. So I am knitting every day but not for as long, like I'm taking longer breaks, thinking maybe that'll help my wrist, but no. Now it's gotten to the point where like rubbing my eyes hurts, um, picking up things already hurt, but like opening a jar, I, they need to fix it. Um, speaking of doctors, I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way. This is why I need distractions. The oncologist finally called back because I told you guys I went to the oncologist because my blood was still weird. Um, so they did more blood work and she sent my blood off for genetic testing to see if I had the marker for polycythemia, which is the thing with the blood. And I don't. However, because that marker came back negative and my blood is still weird, I have to go back to the oncologist in a couple of weeks to have a CT scan and a pulmonary 
function test, which scares me a little bit. So like I told you guys, like my mom and my grandma and whatnot, but um, it's not that I'm worried that I got it. <laughs> it's just triggering, you know? Like I said last time, it just, especially like when she said pulmonary test, cause that's like a lung function test. That part does worry me. Cause I remember that tube my mom had to have to help her breathe. And oh, cause you know, like when you have lung cancer, cause my mom's, my mom had breast cancer, but it metastasized and spread. Um, and part of it, which I think is the part that ended things was it went to, it went to her lungs and I went with her twice to have fluid drained from her lungs. And unlike me, <laughs> my mom had a low pain tolerance. Like I think I might've like taken her pain tolerance away in utero or in utero, in utero, whatever. I think I took her pain tolerance away cause I got it all. <laughs> so my pain tolerance is pretty high. I don't think I would be in as much pain as it was for her with the tube and whatnot. Sorry to like mess with y'all, but that's the part that frightens me. <laughs> like if there is anything going on with my lungs, I'm a little worried, you know, cause I don't, I don't want that part. I don't know. I'm trying to like not think about it. This whole point of the podcast is so I don't think about it. So that's why I'm filming today. Anyway, let's move on. But that's where my head's at. That's why I'm kind of right now. And I'm probably going to be super flighty for a bit. Um, <laughs> oh, you know what I meant to bring in here? I was going to bring in the bin of all the yarn I have left over from the trunk show. I have a lot of yarn left over because I dyed like double the amount that I dyed from my first trunk show. So I have a lot left over. But anyway, I took pictures of all of it. I just haven't felt like sitting down and like uploading it to the website because it's a pain. I'm going to work on it. Anyway, <laughs> so that's knitting. That's what's going on with my brain space. Um, what am I watching? I do have acquisitions, um, but let's, what am I watching? I'm watching, or what have I watched? I've watched a lot, but I haven't been writing it down like I was. Um, the Diplomat. And I know a lot of people watched it because of Carrie Russell. I could care less about Carrie Russell. I know she's like the main character or whatever. I think her name's Carrie Russell, I think. I don't care about her. I love, love Rufus Sewell. I love Rufus Sewell and I love that everybody's into him now. Like, cause I've been into him for like since, I wanna say before Dark City, but I wanna say that's where he got me was Dark City. If you've never watched that, please do. It's great. Um, I freaking love anything that Rufus Sewell does. <laughs> so <laughs> I still need to finish watching that one, the time travel -y thing on Amazon that he's in where I think he's a Nazi or something. I don't remember, but I freaking love Rufus Sewell. And it's funny because like back in the day, he has that eye condition, but back in the day it was worse and everybody made fun of me for liking him, but I don't care. It's, he can see. <laughs> Like, he's just got like sometimes his eye muscles don't work the same in both eyes. I don't care. I think it gives him character and I love him. Um, I love Rufus Sewell. I did not like him in old. He was kind of an eh, old, but he's a great actor. He's a great actor and I'm glad he's getting recognition now. Anyway, <laughs> I watched that. Um, guys, you've, I've watched so much. I'm still watching slasher which i want to say is on amazon i always get it mixed up is it amazon or hulu i think it's amazon i think it's on shutter but it's the slasher series and each series is a different like storyline and this one is set in like jack the ripper type situation so i'm watching that right now i'm watching yellow jackets and i realized that yellow jackets and the wilds are the ones I kept mixing up because they came out around the same time and they have similar premises. Uh, well, the storyline goes a different way, but it's all about some people being stuck somewhere, like plane crash, whatever. And it's a similar storyline, but I want to say I enjoy the wilds more. I'm watching Yellow Jackets because Juliette Lewis is in it and I love her. Uh, but this particular season, I'm just kind of like, 
waiting for it to be over. Like it's not bad, but I'm bored with it now. Like I need it to do something. <laughs> um, I watched, you know, cause I told you guys I like that show Alive or Alone, Alive. <laughs> That's the cannibal one. Um, Alone, the show Alone where they stick people in the wilderness and leave them be. I watched a Netflix version of that, but it was a little bit different. They were like competing and you had to be on a team and I hated the chicks in that so much. I hated them. And I won't spoil anything, but if you watch that, feel free to hate them as much as I do because they were sketchy. Um, <laughs> I did not enjoy that as much as I like alone because um, it really showed that people suck. Um, yeah, people suck. <laughs> it's just dirty, dirty. Um, anyway. What else? Um, I watched the new Evil Dead. I actually watched it at home. I was gonna see it in the theater, but every time, every night that I was planning to go see it, I got a headache. So they finally released it like streaming. So I just ordered it streaming. I wanna say I liked it, but meh, meh. It's all right. I've heard a lot of people like, oh, it was fantastic. It's all right. Um, it's a good for a horror movie. It's a good. <laughs> it's good for a horror movie. Um, but mm, I don't know. Something about it just didn't do it for me. Didn't do it for me. Um, I liked the Evil Dead remake that came out a few years ago. A few years ago. It was probably like 10 years ago because I'm old. Um, but the Evil Dead remake, I actually liked that. And I went into that not wanting to like it because I like the, you know, I like Evil Dead 2. Here's, I'm weird because I saw Evil Dead 2 first. So then when somebody's like, no, no, you got to watch the first one. I thought it was just Evil Dead 2 was just a remake of the first one. But apparently, it, no, it's a sequel, which makes no sense to me. I don't know. Somebody tried to explain it to me once how it works, but whatever. <laughs> I like Evil Dead 2. I like Army of Darkness. I like the Evil Dead show. And Bruce Campbell's funny. I've met him uh, when he was doing Bubba Hotep. He was at Alamo Draft House. Um, was it Alamo Draft House or was I in DC? I don't remember. <laughs> I've gone to so many things. Like I met the cast of the Monster Squad, which was awesome. And I've met... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I met Ty Mac um, from uh, Enter the Dragon, not Enter the Dragon, oh my god, The Last Dragon, Enter the Dragon's Bruce Lee. I'm sorry y'all, my brain. Um, just like last last week I was talking about Dom DeLuise and I was talking about um, um, Smokey and the Bandit. Dom DeLuise was in Smokey and the Bandit 2, not the first one, he was in the second one. Um, but I was probably mixing that up with Cannonball Run because I want to say I've seen that more than I've seen the Smokey and the Bandit movies. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I'm watching. I'm watching so many things and I've watched so many movies and just, you know, my brain. I wrote down some, but I don't know where my iPad is. It's fine. Anyway, let's look at Aquas. <laughs> this is the worst episode. It's trying to distract myself you guys um I got mail like I just went to the mailbox as I said because it's hot and sticky I think I know what this is because I wasn't sure because Amazon dropped off two packages one I know is a book that is fiber related this one I think is a t-shirt but I think you guys will get a kick out of it so I'll show it to you I think it's a t-shirt. I've never seen them send a t-shirt in cardboard, but it's fine. I think it's t-shirt because it's from Random House, which is a book place. So I think this is the t-shirt I ordered. Yeah, like, this hurts. <laughs> Figures. And then you don't open. I did the thing. Yes, it's my t-shirt. You guys are gonna get a kick out of this. Especially if you're from my generation, you're gonna get kicked out of it. Well, actually, they're still relevant. You might get it. <gasps> they sent me two! Or did I order two? Did I order two? <gasps> Let's verify. 
I ordered two. Why did I do that? Oh, because they're different size. All right, so I've ordered from this company before and it was for Pride and Prejudice. I ordered a sweatshirt and I ordered extra large and I swear it's a medium. That's why I ordered two. Okay, so I ordered two X and a three X because they run small. But with my luck, watch these be too big. But that's okay, because if one is like super big on me, I can wear it for PJs. You guys are gonna love it. <laughs> it's Grover. It's Grover. Hold on. I love it. I think this is the perfect, this 2X is the perfect size. <laughs> This, this is from There's a Monster at the End of This Book. Right? Is that the name of the book? Does it say? I don't remember. Right? Yeah, There's a Monster at the End of This Book. He turned the page. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. Okay, so I got a 2X and I got, let's see how big the 3X is. Or maybe I'll rock the 3X until I lose some weight. Actually, you know what? They're not that different. We'll see which one hangs better. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I love Grover, he's my favorite. Okay, so I got that. That is non-fiber related. It was just Grover. It's TV movie related, huh? Yeah. Oh, this bag. This bag came with my Haverland box. That drive-in box I showed you guys last time. I had dropped the bag out of it apparently, but I wanted to show you guys that. Okay, and I got this from Amazon today. Yeah. Why did you wrap the book in plastic? It's bad for the book. Moisture can get trapped in there. <clears throat> Struggles. <laughs> I got Spinner's Book of Yarn Design. And I'm realizing that this is all backwards to you guys. I think my camera got messed up. I gotta flip it around again. And the cool thing, because this is also available on Kindle, but when I was reading the reviews of it, People were saying that if you order the hardback book, there's cards in the back that you can keep next to your spinning wheel. Um, for reference, there are 64 reference cards and it shows you how to make different yarns. Like, isn't that cool? Not that I plan on making art yarn, but I just thought it was cool to have knowledge base. Like, look at this one with the little circles. Isn't that cool looking? I thought it was really nifty. So, I mean, it says 64. Well, are there 64? Yeah. Is it the same pattern front and back? Three strand opposing, four strand opposing. Okay, so there's different on each card. There's two different types of yarn on each card. But I mean, what's it called? Control cards? I don't do any of that, but um, <laughs> I probably should. But this will help me like when I'm making regular yarn so I can like pull this up, make sure I'm doing it right. I don't know. That was my thinking. But I thought that was cool. But what I'm thinking I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take all of these cards out. Y'all see that name, right? Hold on. Why is it called Camp Yarn? <laughs> Pulp Fiction, bring out the gimp. Um, no. Why is it called Camp Yarn? That's so wrong. That's so wrong. Oh, wow. Oh, that's wrong. Okay, anyway. I was gonna poke little holes in them and like hang them on the, on the thing. 
on the spinning wheel so I'd always have it like right there which I thought would be cool and then I wouldn't always have to like yank out the book whenever I was trying to figure out how to do something but the book I heard was really cool oh full color hell yeah oh that's cool hey boo clay's in here it's got tips on knitting with boo clay I might need that isn't this cool this is a cool book. This is a cool book. Doing singles. Ooh, is there a pattern for this in here? The scarf pattern with shapers and icorn edging is my own design. Is it in here? Look at that scarf. Isn't that cool? Anyway, I bought a book. <laughs> okay, what else? I bought fiber. And then I have the uh, Paradise Fiber unboxing and the spinning box that I showed you guys. Um, subscriptions did open up earlier this week. So I went ahead and subscribed to that. So this may be my, this may be my last Paradise Fibers um, actual subscription. This is my first official <laughs> subscription package. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. Um, and then I bought some more fiber from the people that do the spinning box. They had a 40% off sale. So I bought Wolf. I may have showed this to you guys already. I don't think I did though. Which is just the mixtures of grays and blacks. And then this one is called Deep Blue. And it's super sparkly. Hold on, let me take it out. I organized my fiber this morning. I don't need any more fiber. <laughs> now that I just subscribed to a thing, I don't need any more fiber. Look at how sparkly that is. It's so sparkly. I just thought it was fun. I'm thinking dragon glitter. So there was a green that Paradise Fiber sent me in that mystery pack that I ordered. I'm thinking of mixing it with this, like a dragon scale type thing, which I thought would be really cool on the blending board. Well, we'll see. And then on Etsy, Curly Fur. Curly Fur. And this is Unicorn Poo. <laughs> Sorry. I think I inhaled fuzzy bits. <clears throat> anyway. Unicorn Poo was just super pretty. Okay. <laughs> let's let's um, open the Paradise Fibers monthly. I guess it's for this month. So if you get the Paradise Fibers spinning thing, you don't want to see May. Sorry. <clears throat> then look away. Because <laughs> I'm going to unbox it. Unpack it. Because it's in a bag. And then I have three skeins of yarn, and then I think I'm done. And I will edit this and whatnot, because I gotta cut out my little coffee fit <coughs> and patch it all back together. <clears throat> the theme is Miami Nights. Let's see what's in here. Uh, 90s inspired cyan, yellow, and magenta blend. Yellow. Uh, four ounces of beach party. A rich Mediterranean tonal blend of Corydale and nylon. That sounds fun. The first one is just merino. Um, a Miami I may, U Nights vinyl sheep sticker, hand soap sample, stitch marker, hibiscus tea, and neon slatted shades. That's not 90s, that's 80s. <laughs> that's just, <laughs> whatever. Um, Mm. Okay, let's see. I'll see if I had kids. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> that is kind of fun. That's kind of fun. Oh, the sheep sticker. <laughs> it reminds me of my Miami Vice. You remember that? Remember that show? Was it? What's his name? Tibbs and what's the other guy's name? 
Don Johnson. What's Don Johnson's character? Because Tibbs was supposed to do with the Jerry Curl. Right? What was his name? Anyway. <laughs> Soap sample. Oh, that's refreshing. Stella B. Soaps. This is grapefruit. Olive oil, coconut oil, vegetable shortening, water, lye, mica, and fragrance. Why don't they stop putting lye in soap? Am I crazy? I don't know. <clears throat> Little palm tree stitch marker. Little bitty palm tree. There we go. Okay. And, um... <clears throat> Some cheapo plastic shades because dude dude you know what this reminds me of because i used to watch all the jean-claude van damme movies you guys remember cyborg <laughs> i'm watching cyborg tonight okay um and let's look at the fiber okay this must be the mediterranean one and i already like it because it's blue <laughs> More blue sparklies. That's lovely. That's pretty. I like that one. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's so fun. Is that the one that's... What was the base on that one? Corydale Nylon. I like that one. Cute. I actually have room for these. Just enough room. And this one is the one that has yellow in it. Oh, it's not too bad. I was thinking bright. It's not bad. All right, so this one is, all right, so that one's Beach Party and this was Miami Nightlife. That's not too bad. That's not too bad, yellow. That actually might uh, spin up kind of like a, like a heathered look. It's more of a gold than a yellow with the blending. That's cute, I like this. I like this. This might pair well with the one that came in my mystery one, which was like a paler pink with purple in it. Maybe I could put them together and have like a giant skinny yarn or like a normal size skinny yarn. I don't know. I still haven't quite figured out like with fiber, like how much fiber I need for like a full skein of yarn. Like I haven't worked it out yet. <laughs> Cause you know, like, you know, ounces and grams like I figured out how many ounces are in a gram but then it's like some fiber might be heavier than others like I don't know how it all works that's why I've been ordering twos of things because I'm like I should get at least two four ounce braids so then I have enough to make a full skein of yarn I think I don't know how it's all gonna work because like if I ever want to spin enough fiber for a sweater like how many ounces do I need I should probably read some of these fiber books I keep buying, huh? <laughs> anyway, this is lovely. I like these. Should I cancel Paradise Fibers or should I keep it? You only live once, right? <laughs> I don't have any, like, here's the reason I always have so many acquisitions, you guys. I don't have any kids. I rarely leave my house. I live in yoga pants and t-shirts. I don't have anything else to spend my money on. Sure, I could save it, but life is short. You only live once. <laughs> I have no one to leave it to, so let's <laughs> just spend it all. Cause probate's not getting a dime. <laughs> anyway, okay. Then I went to, on the lamb yarn shop, to pick up another skein of that Beachy Breeze Fibers yarn I showed you guys that I said I was going to make a weekender out of. I needed one more skein um, from like, the yardage and the pattern. So I got the last skein of it. Um, so I have enough yarn to start that. And I think I might actually swatch that tonight. Even though I'm not done with that sweater, I think I'm going to go ahead and swatch for a new sweater because why not? <laughs> Nothing better to do with my time. Let's just cast on all the projects. I have enough bags to stick them in. <laughs> Anyway, I went to On The Land, picked that up, and I saw some other yarn while I was there, because of course I did. Bunny in the yard. This is Aracania's Huasco Sock. 
and this is 7525. I just thought it was really pretty. Hang on, I might have to yell at Benny because I can hear him scratching at the window. Focus. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I need to yell at my dog. Hang on one second. Sometimes I think about rehoming my dogs. Not Theo. <laughs> Because I got him on purpose. I love Benny, but he's a freaking hassle, you guys. <sighs> I took on the responsibility when I adopted him, so I should keep him for the rest of his life. And I have to keep reminding myself of that whenever I'm like, you know, if I didn't have dogs. Because I was thinking about it the other day. I was like looking at houses on Realtor.com like... I could downsize and move into a condo and be perfectly content if not for the dogs. They need space. They need a yard because I don't like walking in the summer heat. So I like to be able to just open the door and be like, you go do you. <laughs> we can walk at night when it's nice and cool outside, but during the day, you're on your own. Um, Benny's making me crazy. And <sighs> the bunnies, I love the bunnies but I need them to stop coming in the yard because I am tired of him barking and scratching at the window trying to get to the bunnies. Anyway, <laughs> I also bought this yarn. This is a Malabrigo that I don't have. This is Malabrigo Dos Tierras, and this is 50% Merino wool, 50% baby alpaca. I got two of these. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I just didn't have this Malabrigo base and I wanted to try it out. Come on, there, no, no, no. Mm. A regular piece of paperwork. There we go. It looks like that. And this is the chameleon colorway, which Every single base I get it on, it looks different. Malabrigo, man. <clears throat> anyway, got that. And lastly, got my lamb strings of the month. And this is for, they send theirs out at the end of the month. So this is for April? I don't know. I lose track. <clears throat> I kind of hope the doctor gives me a shot in my thumb because this is ridiculous. But you can see like, it's got like a weird hump right there. It's swollen. All right. Okay. Got the little jewel. These remind me of body jewelry. Um, stitch markers. And this is like, like a brown, teal, purple, with some green in it. This is Woodland Sprite. Oh, you'll focus on that, nice. That's pretty. That's very pretty, I like it. Put that in the room. And I think that's it, you guys, I think that's it. Um, <clears throat> I got attacked by some fire ants yesterday. I was assaulted in my backyard by fire ants. Um, they serve no purpose in life. Why do they exist? <laughs> just, <laughs> I looked it up. Apparently they kill things, but uh, fire ants are the worst in Texas. Like we had fire ants in Virginia, but they kind of stayed in their own little spot. Texas, they're everywhere. <laughs> and if you go to like the, I can't remember which official website it is. It's one of the official Texas websites. It warns you about the fire ants and they're like, sorry. <laughs> they're awful, awful. And I think I'm, <clears throat> I'm not allergic, but I have bad reactions to fire ants. Um, when I was a baby, I got my first mohawk because my mom sat me down and apparently <laughs> it turned out to be like very close to some fire ants and they assaulted me and I ended up in the hospital and they shaved my head into a mohawk so they could put the little uh, thingies on my head, <laughs> the sticky things. 
my very first mohawk. Anyway, um, fire ants are evil. So my legs are super itchy and I'm trying not to scratch. Um, that was totally random, wasn't it? Uh, let, let me think, let me think. What else do I got? What else do I got? Um, I bought some new yarn, y'all. Um, so I used the proceeds from the trunk show to buy new bear yarn, because that's what I do. So I just placed an order yesterday. Yarn should be here. What's today, the 11th? Yarn should be here on Saturday or Monday. And I'm gonna play. Um, I'm thinking about switching my grindhouse base, which is my, I think it's my grindhouse base. It's my grindhouse or my cult classic? I don't know, I get them mixed up. <laughs> One of them is 75-25. I'm thinking about changing that. It's still gonna be 75-25, um, but to a different um, um, mill, manufacturer, whatever, different company, order them from a different company. Cause I don't have an account with wool to die for um, so I'm paying like full price for stuff, uh, but the other company I use, I'm not paying full price. Um, so I'm trying to move most of my bases their way. Um, the only thing I like wool to die for has the 50 grams and I love those. Um, so I love doing asking sets. Um, didn't have that many. I only had a couple this trunk show, but I want to do more 50 gram sets. Um, because I like 50 gram socks. Anyway, so I'm thinking about switching my 7525 base was the whole point. Um, so I've ordered some 7525 to try. The yardage is the same, um, but the merino is different. It's like a more of a, or from what the description said, it's more of a, a more of a robust merino, not like the lower micron merino. So it's not as soft, so it's more sock <laughs> yarn. So it would be my sock base. Um, yeah, so that would be my sock base. I might change up my base names at some point. Um, but it would be my more like substantial sock base, uh, if it knits up well. I ordered some to try. Um, and then Wool to Die For also has another sock base that's 7525 but it's with the 19.5 Micron Merino, which is what my 8515 is. And it's super soft and lovely. And I'm thinking about trying that too. Um, for my 7525, that's not like sock. <laughs> I mean, they're both gonna be for sock, but one's gonna be like, you know, sturdy sock. And one's gonna be like, if I carry two 7525s, I feel like I only need to carry one, um, but I don't know, but I wanna try it. I have a sample skein to dye. They are out of it right now. So maybe it works out that they are out of it and this like more substantial 7525 is the way I should go. We'll see. Um, I had done a poll once on Instagram trying to figure out what base people like for certain things. Um, and I like 8020 for socks, uh, but it's only a two, like the one I have is a two ply. And then my 8515, I wanna say is a four ply. And the 7525 I'm ordering is either a three ply or four ply, I can't remember. But I want a, like a stronger base for socks. And then I also still wanna have a fingering base, like a softer fingering base, like for garments and stuff. And I think that's gonna be my 8515. Um, and I also ordered some silk uh, to try. It's um, 80-20, I believe, 80-20 merino silk. And I'm just gonna try that for funsies. And, and this is definitely gonna be a limited edition type thing once I decide what color I'm going to dye them. But I ordered some 150 gram skeins to dye because they're like 600 yards per skein. Two of them I'm keeping. <laughs> So I think I ordered, if I remember correctly, I ordered one that's the, that silk base. So 8020 with silk. I think I'm gonna keep two of them and dye them black. <laughs> Cause of course I am. And um, I'm gonna keep that one for myself and then I'll dye the rest for you guys um, or whatever, I think. I don't know. I only ordered a, like two bags of, or did I order one and a half? I don't remember. <laughs> 
Y'all know how I am with my memory and shopping in the middle of the night. Um, but anyway, I ordered 150 gram skeins. I didn't order a ton. Um, Cause you know, I only had what I sold at the yarn crawl, not the yarn crawl. Yeah, the yarn crawl. <laughs> I only have what I sold at the yarn crawl to spend. So that's what I used to buy yarn. Um, then I ordered some micro skeins because I know like when I had talked to another local dyer, um, she was saying that like when she tests out colorways, she uses full skeins cause it's a better uh, way to see like how the yarn's gonna die up on like, you know, when you dye like a batch. And before that, like prior to that, I was dyeing mini skeins to practice with. I'm gonna go back to doing that because I prefer it. Um, <laughs> especially because I get really mad if I'm going for a colorway and it doesn't turn out the way I want and I've dyed like full skeins of it. I'd rather practice on my minis and then dye batches instead of using full skeins. Um, so I'm going back to doing that. So I ordered some 10 gram um, to play with. I don't have mini skeins listed on my website. Do you guys want mini skeins on the website? They'd just be random because I feel like me taking pictures of every single different colorway I have of mini skeins would be a pain. Maybe I'll do like mystery mini skein bags or something. That would be kind of fun. Maybe I'll do that like a mystery mini skein thing at some point. I don't know. Right now, I just need to update the website. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, that's it. I'm rambling now. Um, my distraction is over. I need to find something else to distract myself. Maybe I'll spin for a bit. I'll play, I'll play with the wheels. Um, I said it on Instagram, but I think... I'm gonna keep Cersei. Oh, she's not folded up right now because I was playing with her this morning. But look at that. Focus. Look at that. That's not bad, right? That's not bad. Okay. Cersei. <laughs> Look at this mess. Look at it. Look. Look at that mess. Look at that. Look. Look. Look at that. Look. Just. Ugh. I'm not good with the joy. I'm just not. I keep saying I'll just practice on it some more until I get good with it. But, you know, me and Cersei are already friends. <laughs> so, I'm thinking... Thinking the joy might have to go. I'm thinking of listing it for sale. And it was brand new when I bought it, so I'm probably not gonna, I'm probably gonna sell it for the same price I've paid for it. Um, that's what I'm thinking right now. And my doctor acting like fools right now, so I should stop rambling and um, go deal with that. <laughs> so, oh, I brought it in here. You guys want to see some fabric? Because I'm trying to keep myself distracted. I'm just going to keep talking. It's got schnauzers on it. Look at it. Look, isn't it cute? It's all retro looking. And focus. Stop being blurry. The schnauzer. Isn't he cute? Oh, it's so cute. It's so retro. I love it. So I got that. I got this really cool cat fabric and somebody was like, where'd you get that? It would make a cool shirt. And you know what? Yeah. Now I'm like, should I go make a shirt too? <laughs> like a little cotton top. It'd be cute. Look at this cat fabric, y'all. Hold on, I gotta make sure it's it upside down. Look at this cat fabric, y'all. Isn't that cute? I know there's a lot of yellow in there, but you know, cats. Um, and technically they're orange tabbies um so because <laughs> there's no such thing as yellow cats they're orange or apricot um <laughs> but i love it they're like little watercolor kitties look at them aren't they cute i love i love that tabby oh gorgeous gorgeous so got that you're getting on my nerves 
And then let me show you this other cat fabric I got because I didn't show this one on Instagram. But it was just like too cute. Look at that. Oh, cute. Look at the cat fabric. And then I'm going to use this retro looking fabric as the liner. Yeah. All right. So I bought this to make some bags. But now I'm like, should I make a shirt? <laughs> I'm thinking this might be yarn bomber fabric. This might be my first attempt at a yarn bomber for myself because schnauzers are on it. Um, and then I have that schnauzer fabric I bought that I showed you guys a while ago that I love with the schnauzers and the hearts um, that I might make a yarn bomber out. I don't know. Or maybe the cat should be a yarn bomber. I don't know. I don't know. I might buy more of that cat fabric. I think it's cute. The watercolor cat fabric, not the pink, because that's not me. It's not me. I bought this specifically to make bags. Um, anywho, <laughs> I said I was going to stop and go about my day, um, but I don't have anything to do, so. I'm going to go yell at the dogs a lot and spin for a bit, listen to Leonard Cohen or something. I don't know. I'm out. Hope you guys have a good day. Happy knitting. Talk to you again soon. Bye.